for tuning in today. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Say, hey, YouTuber, you're doing okay. Share this video with your friends and family. Hit that bell chime notification so you don't miss any of these great videos. Well, we had a pretty good week. We've been hammering the bales out, been dropping the hay down. We've been working like a fine oiled machine. Uh, even fine oiled machines break down. So with that said, good old JD566 baler decided to give me a little more headaches. So I'll touch base on that. But we're gonna do an up-to-date bale count. We're gonna see where we are from our uh, year goal. This year's goal, we're gonna let you know exactly what we're at on the farm, let you know how many bales we have to go. Maybe we don't have to go anymore. Maybe we made enough already. You'll see, see how, how, you'll see how ambitious I've been this last week. <laughs> but uh, it's been crazy. Uh, you know what? It's been, I've been going nuts haying here, like morning to night, but we gotta get it down. If the, the crops are getting old, you know, you know you want to cut it down those nice and green so it's just it's the the last final drive the last final push we still got some crop to come down and then hey maybe we'll get lucky maybe we'll get some second cut that'd be like that extra little gift in the stocking at christmas that you're like damn that's nice so we'll see where we're at so not chit chat let's go get to work Woo! gonna be officially cut down in about uh, another 10 minutes I just got a two strips sorry four strips on the other side of that bush we're good to go so it'll be drying have it raked up and baled tomorrow evening and we're off of this field so I'll let you know how many bales we end up getting off this uh, this one uh, quarter of land it was a challenge uh, this quarter land was a, quite a challenge. It's pretty rough. It had high spots, low spots, alfalfa, trefoil, uh, you name it. It had everything, a little bit of everything. It had a few slough areas, um, lots of rocks. I got about five hours of rock picking to do here. What I'll do is I'll probably get someone to um, drive one of the, uh, our Kawasaki mule and uh, I'll fill up the box with rocks. There's little like ch there's little like drainages made, and there's lots of rocks in and around that those areas. So there's a couple of them on the field. So I'm gonna drive those, pick up all the rocks that I uh, that pose a threat to the disc mower. Uh, I threw a lot out. I bet you I threw 20, 30 into the bush already. Um, but that's one of the problems with a new field. You you don't uh, take chances because you don't know where rocks are. You don't know where obstacles are. But all in all, I got a good feel for the this uh, field. A little rougher than I thought it would be. Well, I hammered the biggest rock I've hit with this disc mower a few minutes ago. Uh, I had to run home and change all my blades. Didn't have my GoPro, so I couldn't show you the damage. Just picture all the uh, blades on my disc mower bent up <laughs> and 
chopped in half so I'll show you the rock that I hit I pulled it out but that's what I was worried about with this field hey one big rock I'm not gonna stress over this field's always been cut with a swather like all sides of it so it was always cut fairly high and then um, actually I think lots of uh, alfalfa seed was taken uh, he'd usually uh, combine and uh, tree foil so uh, it's never been shaved like this low to the ground. It's never been cut like that. So uh, we like to cut really short. I change a few more blades because of that, but uh, we really optimize. Um, um, well, I like to think we optimize our, our productivity by cutting short. All right, so we're finished the big new field. Finally got the last little bit down. Finish that, finish the middle, finish the front and back there. Look at the rocks I hit with that disc mower. This is what put me out of commission. This is in the field. I hit that. To give you an idea. Here's my hand. Here. Here's my hand. Anyways, I skipped around. Took out a bunch of my knives. Uh, but I'm telling you that disc mower is tough as nails. In this field, it produced well. I'm happy with the hay in it, but there's a few things I don't like. Obviously the rocks. I gotta come rock picking. Probably after I'm done baling, if I have a, a few hours, I'm gonna bring the mule out, pick a bunch of rocks for five hours. All the rocks are basically in this like drainage that was made. It looks like some type of drainage uh, was roughed in here, but definitely needs to be work done here to that. You can see it running all the way there. And there's one from the bluff. There's a low spot that meets with this. So, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get some equipment in here and, and properly um, drain this uh, this field so it's uh, a little more user friendly. But all in all, I'm happy with what it produces or has produced. Um, just a matter of fixing up a couple of little drains. So, um, yeah. Hey, any if any of you have any. Um, if you any specialize in this or have any expertise in this department, let me know what would you do to fix up a drain that's kind of like this is like a little drainage thing, but it's just really sharp. I just want to smooth it out maybe. I was thinking taking the lip off, just making it more gradual. So rather than having something like this that's like it's really sharp here, sharp there, just maybe smooth it out because you really don't need a a real, you don't need a ditch in a field. You just need a little bit of a soft drain. Oh, let me know what you think. Let me know in the comment box. Well, everyone, we're hoofing it out to the field. Dad left a couple hours ago to start raking. This is the new big field. This takes for it's been taking forever to cut down and, and rake and bale. So we'll give you an update on that field. We're probably 70% done it. We got clouds rolling in here. Uh, the air got real sticky, got real humid, and they say they're, we're supposed to get some uh, some somewhat uh, crappy weather hitting our way. So we really got to get whatever bales are down uh, and raked up into this baler and tied like ASAP. This is just some grasses. Seems pretty dry. It's a little humid out, but it's dry, definitely dry. So Dad's just going with the wheel rake. Better catch up with him so he doesn't go too big with the wind rows. He gets a little carried away once in a while. <laughs> As you saw in some of my other videos, it's like, it's pushing on the top of my tractor uh, bumper. So uh, once you get that, man, it's tough to make a good bail with a big, big wind row like that. <laughs> That came a little close. <laughs> I'm glad no one was hurt in the shooting of that footage. <laughs> so 
So this is what happens to bail when you cross a windrow sideways, uh, the way it's not meant to be sucked up. I had to cross over because there's a big tail on the end of the, the windrow. This is what happens. See, you have this floppy hay over there. That's what I was talking about, not making a square bail. It, it's, it's really not a huge deal, but the aesthetics of it, it doesn't look phenomenal. This is a rough bail anyways, but still, you know what I mean? So it's very precise. You really have to hit that windrow. See, this one is, this is pretty straight. Both sides have a defined edge. Like this is easy to make a good bail with. Well, I felt a bad uh, shimmy on my tractor. I instantly hit the PTO off. Well, everything was going wonderful. Randomly, this happens. A little twisted belt. I luckily caught it pretty quick. Hope it's not ripped. Keep you updated. I better clean this out. See how big of a problem we have. Well, the pin definitely self-destructed but the good news it didn't rip the belt i don't think <laughs> we'll see once we get the new pin in you can see there that it's uh broken so i luckily carry a knock it out with that and this isn't a new pen but it's better than the broken pen that's in there But we'll try it out, take the lock off, and uh, yeah, we'll see if it rolls around good. Looks to be running pretty good right now. So I'm gonna leave it at that and give her heck. belt seems to be uh, running okay it's wandering a little bit I don't even know if I'm gonna I do have an extra belt kicking around but I really don't know if I need to um, put a new belt on there it seems like it's pretty good might just need to set in there I'm gonna take a look at the lacing a little closer at home but it's making really nice that that, re that uh, represents the second last bill here we are, the ceremonial final windrow on this field. So it was a good field. Um, you know what? This is a, a new field to us, but I am really pleased with the uh, with the outcome of it. Um, you know, uh, on a good year, if we had sufficient rain early on. This year hasn't been the best. We were really dry early on. We got hit with back to, we had like two or three frosts back to back. Um, really bad. I stunted everything right off the hop. Then it was really dry. And I think if we would have had a decent spring with some precipitation, 
this field could produce four to five hundred bales um, but I'm gonna be dropping this last bale and then we'll, we'll uh, talk a little bit about the bale count on this uh, this quarter land when does this ever happen right to the last bale look at that almost a full size bale that's okay we'll wrap it well we're finished officially done this big field uh, not too much went wrong just a bunch of uh, knives on the disc mower went kaput that's expected hit a couple rocks got some work to do pulled off lots of nice hay so on this field we got 270 bales 270 nice big round bales so fairly happy with that i was hoping to get uh, 300 or more but it's close enough to i'm happy with that this field held its own you know i'm quite happy with it the high spots got some really more than the quantity we got really high quality bales off here we had a couple slough areas but even the slough hay the slough hay i made in this area came off really nice and dry and green so cows are gonna eat it so hey i'm happy with that well ladies and gentlemen just dropped the last half bale <laughs> we got that field finished off um the four little areas beside it and that huge new field as you know we still have to cut this we have to zip across the road cut another little field there then all our field hay is done then it's time to move to the jungle we're going to be cutting a lot of wild hay out beyond those bluffs we have two quarters of lease land they're pretty low actually we have two there and then one more over there on the other side of the road they're all very similar there are a lot of slough areas there's some high ridges lots of wild hay if you can get to it so we're going to be moving in there once these fields are uh once the hay's off these fields and hopefully we'll uh hey maybe we'll hit the jackpot uh from what i checked it looks pretty hairy in there so i think it might be pretty good it might be uh, high yielding um with that said we had 800 bales a couple weeks ago we hit 1201.5 so so we hit the 1200 mark so i'm very happy with that didn't hit our goal 1400 yet but once we're done this field and that one i'm sure we'll be past that so uh everything is looking good um average did go down a little bit wasn't hammering out quite as many bales because um we hit all the high areas we're doing all the fields right now all the field hay the high uh the high what what were the really good crops <laughs> they haven't been so great the last two three years so um the lower areas are obviously the ones yielding all our production so i'm okay with that so wish me luck and i guess uh maybe i'll catch you in the jungle in the next video that's where we got to make sure our equipment's in tip-top shape. Everything's in order because out there things can go wrong. Um, it's hard on equipment, especially if you don't know the area. I do know the area fairly well, so knock on wood. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Hey, and we're going to catch you soon on the next Prairie Sunset Ranch Farm Vlog. It's beer clock, so cheers from all of us here. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy the summer.